everybody welcome back to the channel happy sunday thank you so much for tuning in today welcome to all my new subscribers and thank you for those who continue to tune in from week to week today will be a pretty short video just a quick review um i cannot believe it's actually been since february not the last week of february but the week before that that i have sewn anything been in my sewing room made anything and because i knew march would be full of um processing orders and all of that and i wanted to make sure in, in march i was dedicated to processing orders getting everybody's fabric everything out um enamel pins whatever they ordered um, from bhm pattern designers and so there was really no plan to make anything in march initially until i saw on so your view they were doing the mood top and i absolutely love that silhouette i love that style that is so me and so I was like, yeah, I think I can squeeze in some time. But I told myself this was the caveat. If you do not finish the <laughs> packaging up those orders or anything um, in March, you will not be making that top. So guess who finished packaging up orders a couple days ago? And um, so, yeah, so everybody uh, who have ordered uh, fabric and T-shirts and all that good stuff, you have received your shipping notification. And yeah, that is many of you have received this stuff and not, I'm seeing tags, but the ones that I just finished over the past couple days ago you will um, start getting your stuff so everything is out I am so excited um, so like I said there were no plans to do any sewing in the month of March um, it was just to do my hauls and that was all stuff if you saw my hauls videos you know it was from um, everything that pretty much took place in January February things that I bought January February I just waited till um, march to haul them here on the channel and to share them so i can have some content coming out um and by the way if you have not subscribed make sure you subscribe make sure you thumbs up this video i greatly appreciate it, it helps me out um and so yeah um i knew that yeah it wasn't gonna be um sewing anything but here we are one um item completed for the month of march and do stay tuned because, and I am wearing the top, do stay tuned because on um, Wednesday, I actually have another haul. And, and let me tell you, it's from Joann's. And Joann Fabrics, I was tagged by a couple people because I think this is just something that we are all like, what? Really? Um, for those here in the United States, you know, it was very a norm for simplicity patterns and stuff. Uh, simplicity patterns and stuff like that they go on sale for 99 cent well over the past couple years it was 199 and it never went down at least not that I ever saw um, and I think Hobby Lobby would have them but I wasn't going to Hobby Lobby or anything and I typically don't go much to Joann's aside from a pattern sale um, or if there was just something just I just needed and I can't wait for it because typically for my um, um like uh zippers and um threads and all of that i order from um wawak and so because you get much more bang for your buck great quality and yeah much more bang for your buck instead of me paying four dollars for a jean zipper which i just ordered some some of those from wawak um they were like not less than a dollar or something like that so anyway yeah so i went into joann's today and yeah so i'm gonna have a joann's haul coming up on wednesday so make sure you stay tuned for that and then on april 1st um i will have my sewing buzz which i will be um featuring and hitting on pressing tools um um, press tools not pressing not iron um, but uh, for rivets and, and things of that nature because that was asked in a previous video so I will um, talk about that in the sewing bus and then I'll have a dedicated video um, showing some different things so anyway stay tuned again make sure you subscribe hit that bell um, make sure you do not miss an upload so let's jump into this top like I said totally my style let me pop up a picture this is the um mood the carry top by mood um uh 
mood fabrics designer fabrics so i love this top i'll pop up the line drawing here i absolutely love the flow of it everything um totally my style totally totally me and so um when i saw so your view was doing this for the month of march i was like okay i'll do that because i'm always looking at what they're sewing up for so your view but most of the things that that has been popping up is not really my style or anything like that but this one straight up my style and this is called the carry top and it does come in sizes up to size 30 and which is up to a bus size of 58 so it starts at a size 2 with the bust of 32 and a half inches and it goes up to a bust of 58 and a half now also keep in mind because the nature of this design it is flowy so you might need consider going down the size so it's not looking overly flowy or baggy depending on your personal style and so um and then this was the fabric that was featured so if this is a free download again from mood on their website so when you the fabric that was um featured for the top was this beautiful beautiful uh like face print i didn't write down the name of it but um beautiful beautiful print and it's a cotton poplin and um just absolutely gorgeous oh it's called the mood exclusive abstract concepts cotton voile that's what it is it's a cotton voile and um the pattern uh requires two yards it says um uh, hook and eye which I did not use um, I did use bias tape um, and you do the only thing <laughs> the only thing about this pattern is free but you have to tape it together which I am not team tape patterns together but I decided okay it will I forget how many pages it was for this I think it looks like 30 pages so it wasn't bad and it took me less than 45 minutes to take the whole thing together which i was shocked um because probably because i was just zoned in and i was thinking you know what i already don't like uh tape and pdf panels together so let me get over this so um yeah so those that is a little information on the uh pattern but it it is nice it is a very nice pattern i will say you will you I think it's advanced beginner friendly and I say advanced beginner because there's not a lot of hand holding or anything with this. It is a relatively easy top to put together but if you're putting on bias binding like I did um, and I'll talk about that in a moment and because of the sleeve the way you insert the sleeve to me the instructions it was semi clear. It, it was semi clear the way I, w I knew I was putting in putting it in right because I actually stitched in first before I surged it I um, French seam just so you know 90% of this top except for the sleeve and except for where I attached the peplum but the back pieces the sides and everything is all French seam um, but because um, of the way you put the sleeve in I was like oh am I putting this in right but because of the notches you do have the back and the front notches on the sleeve you do know you putting it in the right spot because I was thinking I almost can't tell from the line drawing but I thought this slit I thought it was too far forward I thought I was doing something wrong so I just you know I stitched it first before I surged it just to see if that was hitting right and then I looked some more and then I went online and looked at more people's versions that have posted and I was like okay yeah I am doing it right because I was thinking oh maybe this slit supposed to be up here not down here but yeah it is that's that's how it's supposed to be um so yeah i was a little nervous about that but outside of that the instructions really are pretty straightforward um let me tell you about this fabric which is a beautiful something i couldn't tell you what it is i've had this fabric in my stash it's from fabric mart i can't say that and i know i pay probably 2.99 a yard for it because it's one of those fabrics when i started getting fabric online that's where i shopped at it was fabric mart and this has been in my stash for at least four years um and i do have a separate video for anybody who's interested in um i think i listed top 10 online sewing stores that have wider width fabric because you all know i'm a fan of wider width fabric 55 inches or wider and so i'll link up to that video here in the icards go check that out if you're wondering um some online stores that i recommend 
especially for wider width fabric. Um, but this was um, 60 inches wide. And like I said, I had it like four or five years. Um, and I couldn't have paid no more than $2.99 for it because I remember there was a bunch of fabric I remember getting from them. And most of I end up um, de-stashing, not, not most of it, some of it. Um, but this I decided to keep because I, I figured I was going to use it for something flowy, but I wasn't sure in all these years. So finally have something to sew it up in. Um, and it's a polyester. I know it's a polyester just by the way um, it feels and um, it does not hold a crease. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, and I, so I didn't bother doing a burn test or anything on it, but yeah, it's, um, it's beautiful. This is such a beautiful, uh, flowy, flowy fabric. And it was absolutely perfect for um, um, this pattern. Now I'll make sure to pop up pictures in the short video. Um, the size that I cut is a size 22. And so just for reference, a size 22 is um, a bust of 48 and a half inches with a waist of 39 and a half inches and a hip of 51 inches. But with the ease because of the flow and you'll see in the pictures, you know, it's, it's nothing because I'm around, I'm going, still going down. I'm, I'm hovering at that 48, 49, um, uh bus now but um yeah this here and i have what i have on underneath is a black cami because this is see-through i have to wear something <laughs> up underneath so i don't know if you can tell i have on the black cami but you can see it from the side here but um so yeah i definitely love the way the arm is um the belt um i've I took pictures with the belt and without the belt, so you'll see that. But I absolutely love it. And I'll show you the back because the reason I went to Joanne's was to get a button because you do have the slit in the back, the opening. And I knew I wanted to put a little, um, a lat, the stretch cording. And so I did do that. It's in black, but whatever. Um, <laughs> and I'll show you here. What I did do is I put the button on and then I wedged, I cut off a piece of the, um, the cording and I wedged it into the, where the bias binding is because I did put bias binding all the way around that back there. And so, and then I just hand tacked it in and so yeah that's how that turned out as you can tell i use bias binding all around the neck arm um neck arm neck edge and then the sleeve and then on the bottom also so absolutely love it this was beautiful and i'm so happy to have participated in so your view because like i said most of the time um i don't get a chance to participate um but yeah and i think i said i french seam um this the front the, the sides the back because you do have a center back um seam um and the only thing i uh, surged were the arms and the peplum i didn't want to be bothered with that because one I didn't know if I was putting the sleeves in right and if I had to unpick it. <laughs> um, and then I didn't want to be bothered with the curve around the peplum trying to worry about French seam in that. But everything else is French seam. So that is my review of the carry top. I think it's a, it's a freebie. And I can definitely see me making more of these um, just because this is my style. I love flowy um, uh, tops like this. This is so perfect for spring and summer um, and early fall. And that um, feature fabric that the original, that the pattern was done in, I am planning to get that at some point. It's so funny because the stock levels for it was going up and down because I was looking at this over a course of a couple weeks if i was going to do it or not and the stock levels for that fabric was shooting up going down shooting up going down so i was like yeah a lot of people because initially i was going to get that fabric to make the same top but i was thinking no a lot of people gonna get that fabric to make this top and so <laughs> because it is absolutely gorgeous and um yeah so I figured, eh, I'll just use something in my stash. But you all know I just did a mood haul um, anyway because I was on their website so much. And um, I still end up getting something. But that is it, everybody. That's all I have. There is, There are no other notes that I have here to share with you. Um, the, yeah, the carry top is free. I will link 
uh, put a link down to so your view Instagram page so you can see everybody's um, carry top and then I'll also put a link to the actual um, pattern because again it's a freebie and why not <laughs> so anyway everybody thank you so much for tuning in and make sure you um, hold on I think I'm just gonna keep on what I have on and I am going to um, record this Joanne Hall yeah they got me they got me so make sure you tune in for Wednesday to see what I picked up from Joanne's make sure you again subscribe thumbs up this video leave a comment down below and yeah thank you everybody for tuning in today I greatly appreciate it and we will see you on Wednesday bye